Hey everyone, it's going to be a real quick Android setup video for the Deco HD Wi-Fi security camera system. Um, I'm just going to run through this. I am not going to edit anything, so I apologize if I um, stumble at all. I set up the first one of this dual pack that I got on um, a deal on Amazon for $24.51.19. Um, I set up the first one. It seems pretty good. Um, after researching around for security cameras like this, this was the only one that I found within this price range where it actually, within the app, will pan left and right. doesn't go up and down, but it does go left and right. The setup for this is pretty easy on Android. Um, what comes with it is the camera. Um, a kind of short, it's already plugged in for this video, but a kind of short power cable here. And um, a little mounting guide for the outside and some mounting screws. Um, and your instruction booklet. Now let's see if I remember how to do this real quick. The first thing that you're going to want to make sure you do is that you are not on your 5G Wi-Fi. You're going to want to make sure that you're on your regular, I think it's 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And you're going to want to download and install the Cloud Edge app. I've already set up a login. You can see my first camera is here. Um, it's not installed yet. I was actually going to install it today, but it is raining all day outside, so I'll probably do it at some point this week. I might upload a follow-up video with some actual daytime, nighttime um, example videos once I get this set up and it's running for a while and I get to test everything and see how it works uh, the first thing before we actually set this up that I'm gonna note is there was a little green tab to like pull off the film on the camera and when you pull it off on both of them all it did was pull off the tab now I didn't do it just yet on this camera and I'm not about to struggle in this video but there is a thin film on here that you can kind of peel off around here. It's not around the actual lens, but it's around here. I have a feeling that's why on Amazon, some of the negative reviews regarding the night vision, I believe there's little LEDs here. I think they show red at night, um, from what I recall with my other outdoor cameras. And I think if that film's on here, it might be messing with the night vision for people. Can't say for sure, but I am gonna note that because like I said, pulled off the tab, tab pulls off but the actual film doesn't, and it's a little bit of a struggle to get it off. But anyways, getting started here, let's plug this thing in. While this is booting up, um, it appears this is where the speaker's at. This is where you put your SD card. And there's also a little reset button in there. Oh. Yeah, you can see it's powering on now. Pan one way. Oh, there we go. So the first thing you're going to be looking for is a blinking red light right here. Not sure if we can see it in the camera. But you should have a blinking red light here. If you do not, hold down this reset button until you hear a tone and then check again and make sure you see that red blinking light. That means it is in pairing mode for you. So what you're going to want to do now is within the Cloud Edge app, I believe that's what it was, um, click this little plus button up here. I hope you guys can see my phone screen. My camera dims off a little get up to GoPro knockoff camera. The, the screen goes off after a little bit, so I can't actually see what I'm looking at. I'm sure there's something I can adjust in the settings. But anyways, you want to click the little plus button. You want to go to, which one is it? Power plug camera. You're not installing a battery camera, a smart doorbell, etc., etc. You're installing um, or setting up a power plug camera. Let's click on that. Then it's going to say smart camera Wi-Fi. Please power on the device. And make sure that volume's all the way up in case there's any more tones. So make sure you power on the device. Um, it's going to say, please wait until the light turns red and blinks, just like we had checked there. It means it's in pairing mode. Then we click next. 
Please reset the device by holding the reset button for 5 seconds. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. Alright, so I'm going to be honest, we might as well just go through that real quick even though I've already mentioned it. Um, so you're going to press and hold this little reset button. There's the tone we were looking for. It's going to go through its, its whole reset thing. So we have a solid red light now. Oh, you know what it is. I don't have it locked in. All right, so we have the blinking red light again. We're going to click Next now that we reset it like Select it asked us to. Select a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. So again, you need to use a 2.4 gigahertz um, Wi-Fi network. You cannot be connected to 5 gigahertz. Just go to your phone, go to your Wi-Fi settings, make sure that you are on the 2.4 gigahertz or else this is not going to work. Um, I just realized you guys are seeing my password here. Um, I'll just reset that after after we go through this video on my router or I'll blank it out. So click next. It's gonna ask you to confirm all your Wi-Fi settings. Click Please OK. Remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. Keep your phone five to eight inches from the lens. So again, um, the film is off on the camera lens when you get it, but there is an additional film around here. Like I mentioned before, that I think might be why some people say that their night vision doesn't work very well. So anyways, we're going to click next here. It's going to give us a QR code. We're going to hold it up here, wait for the tone like we just heard. That means that it heard it, or that it, that it saw the QR code. So now we're going to click next. Connecting. Please wait a moment. Sit through the connection process. We can see that night vision light just went on there. All right, and honestly, it's as simple as that. Now we have where it says My Device. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press Next to enter network diagnostic. All right, so we're going to do just that. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. All right, we're going to turn that down. All right, so we got Wi-Fi strong. Um, I'm actually on my first floor, my two-floor house in two-story house, and my modem and router and everything is downstairs in the basement off to the other side of the corner. So you can see we actually have some pretty good Wi-Fi strength here. We're going to click Next. It's going to give us some install tips. Um, really thinking one of the biggest one is probably avoid direct sunlight to the camera lens. I'm pretty sure that'll burn it out over time. Click Done. All right, it's going to ask you where you want this. It's kind of weird they don't have like a driveway or front door or anything like that. Um, this one is actually going to go by my front door, so I'm going to click door. All right, so we have our new camera here. I believe if we click this little settings icon down here, hopefully you guys can see all this. Um, you get a few different options here. We'll click settings. Uh, I am not about to go through all these because I haven't actually went through all of them. I do want to enable motion tracking. Um, the alarm management defaults to medium, noise detections off. I live on a corner lot with a lot of noise outside, uh, a lot of cars, a lot of uh, kids. There's actually a bus stop out here, so I'm going to leave off the noise detection for now because I don't believe I need it. Um, recording management. I actually don't have an SD card installed right now, but you do have all day recording where it's just going to keep recording. And once your SD card, I believe, it's the maximum. It's just going to start rewriting over the oldest videos. Same goes with the event recording. I'm pretty sure that's how all my Wi-Fi cameras work. Um, it's just going to record whenever it trips the alarm, uh, basically when somebody's moving outside. And eventually, once your SD card fills up, it should, again, from what I recall with my other cameras, should start recording over the oldest events. Um, you do have cloud storage service. I'm sure that is a price. Um, additional monthly price. Uh, you can connect this to Amazon Echo. I don't know anything about it. Um, you can also connect it to Google Home. Also don't know anything about it. You can also, I would recommend doing this, check for new version. 
this will check for new firmware versions, is we can see here we are currently updated on the latest version, but if you are not, surprisingly the, the other camera in this two-pack was not updated to the current version, so I did have to do a quick update. It took about two minutes, um, but it looks like this one out of the box is already updated for us. So one thing we're going to want to do, I believe, is... I think it's here to rename it so we click right up here it defaults to a weird just a whole bunch of numbers here we'll click here click on device name again I hope you guys can see all this and then we're gonna change the name here to front door and then save it all right so again there's a whole bunch of other settings here I have not went through them all just like I said before so I'm not gonna mess around with them too much now again we're not outside it's actually raining out um, I, again I'm not installing this stuff today but let's take a look here so we do have an intercom looks like with Android we need to say um, we need to allow it to record audio so we're gonna click while using the app hello Hello? 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 Um, it looks like since it's so dim in this room, it looks like we're on night vision. I'm only using these LEDs up here. There we go. Now we're in daytime vision. All right. So let me see here. Let me try holding the base of this. And let's check out the panning here. All right. This is kind of hard to hold with one hand. We're going to... And this back and forth seems like it's pretty quick. I'm holding this a little weird. There we go. That's the full pan from left to right. Um, anyways, let's put this down here. Um, it's like we have a history. This is all new to me. I haven't looked into this before. It's let me know. Hey, my, you don't have an SD card installed. But it looks like similar to my other Wi-Fi cameras. You can click the calendar and look at specific events from specific days. Um, you have the cloud option here, but again, I'm not paying a monthly fee for that when you can just use an SD card. Um, then you have an album, probably with yeah screenshots and videos where it'll display all of them that you have on your camera. And honestly, I think that's about it. Um, not too sure what this little, this little eyelash thing. Whether to hide the current view. I don't exactly know what that means. Um, what is this button? Looks like that's where you get into your videos, this button right here. It's a little play button with the little, little circle with an arrow on it. And then to just access the camera, you just go like that. Um, as you can see with the motion sensing um, alerts that I have on right now, it's actually pulled uh, or sent a couple alert messages based on movement, I guess. So anyways, I, I believe that's kind of just, that's your basic setup for this. I know I didn't go too in depth with any of the settings here. Uh, again, I haven't even messed around with them all. Um, but yeah, that's the basic Android setup for this. And again, uh, once I get these cameras set up, I may do a follow-up video showing some example nighttime, daytime videos from outside. Uh, one thing I do want to try one more time before I get off of here, it didn't seem like the intercom was too loud. I'm not even sure if people will hear me. Um, I'm guessing since it'll be by the, the one that I'll be using while I'll be talking to people will be right by the front door. Um, I guess it doesn't need to be that loud. So let's hold this down again. Hello? 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 Yeah, that is that is not loud at all. I don't know if there's a way to turn that up. I'll have to look more into that, but that is that's not loud. Um anyways. Alright. I guess one more thing while we're still in here. I know I already said we were finishing up this video, but it looks like it defaults to standard definition. So if we click this, we can pick, it looks like quality HD, HD, and SD. 
Let's flip to HD. Let's look to quality HD. It's like the quality HD is a little bit better. We can see kind of on that glare there. Anyways, I don't even know if you guys are able to see my screen, but you can go to full screen mode. I'll go off to the side there. So, anyways, that is the setup for this. Uh, pretty quick and easy. Probably one of the easiest Wi-Fi camera setups I've ever went through. Typically, um, I run into some kind of a small issue or hiccup um, getting them set up, and hopefully it holds up to the elements. It is a cheap little plastic, but two for 50 bucks, I mean, what do you expect? We'll, we'll see how it does.